Hi, my name is Christine Miller and I'm presenting on Airbus. This will be an issue summation uh, followed by a SWOT analysis and then I will provide my recommendations at the end. So Airbus was founded in, on December 18th of 1970 by five gentlemen. Um, most of them were um, aerospace engineers and a few of them were also pilots. So this plays in a lot to um, how they they were able to bring their expertise in terms of designing Airbus products. So they came up with three different divisions. One is their commercial aircraft, the defense in space, as well as helicopter division. Um, so when they entered the market, they had some pretty stiff competition, uh, the main one being Boeing, which started in 1916, um, and Boeing is a US company. So where they decided to do, um, being, coming from France is to, they realized that in order to compete on a global scale with Boeing, they're going to need to have a form of coalition. So they um, joined uh, the European Union um, and that kind of set them up to partner with other countries in developing aircraft. So SWOT analysis. Some of the strengths for Airbus is that they are diversified globally. They have, they are able to produce customer specific products that are high tech as well as functional. And just recently, they signed a two year backlog of orders. Um, so as long as they're able to deliver on those products, um, things should be pretty successful for them. Weaknesses. Um, because they have a backlog of two years on orders, are their suppliers going to be able to handle that kind of demand? Um, also, their defense and space segment hasn't been performing as well as they'd like. So that's one area they're going to need to work on. And because they are diversified globally, they do have a lot of compliance uh, irregularities that need to be addressed. Um, so some opportunities. Because COVID-19, um, kind of at the onset of COVID-19, Boeing 737 MAX got grounded. That kind of opened the door for Airbus to take advantage of some new opportunities um and also form some new partnerships as well as improve upon their defense um, and space products so in, in terms of defense they recently diversified their portfolio to include missiles launchers um combat and transport aircraft so we'll see how that does in the future and some threats because boeing was kind of out of the picture um and covid was was here i think there was a uh, some room for a lot of new entrants so there are five new startups that they need to be on the lookout for one is exodus space corp heart aerospace first resonance and also they have some cybersecurity risks i guess that wasn't five that was more like three and cybersecurity risks as they are in defense and space it's only logical to expect that they might be prone to cyber attacks so um <clears> Those <throat> that was the SWOT analysis. So to get into the main issues, let's go to my next slide here. So three issues: operationality, political adjustments, and financial performance, company culture, and building coalitions. So, um, is Airbus too dependent on its suppliers? They have twelve thousand, and about eighty percent of what they do is outsourced. So they will need to keep uh, maybe do a stress test. That's my recommendation. Do a stress test. If one of if half of their supply chain isn't able to deliver on products, will the other half be able to make up the difference? Issue two: political adjustments and financial performance. Um, Financially, they did become more liquid in 2019, uh, which gives them a little more cash. Also, they, they kind of increased their credit worthiness. So that's positive. Um, as they do business in France, Germany, Spain, the UK, and now China, uh, one of the main threats uh, or the political adjustments is the changing tax laws. They do kind of need to keep an eye out on where what, what's happening on the tax front. And also Brexit has had a significant impact on the European on the European Union, which now ha, has increased areas of vigilance, additional administrative administrative work, as well as reduced industrial flexibility. Um, the recommendation is to keep a very close eye on the political arena and maybe focus more on operations that are more stable, hence the U.S. So um, in 2020, Airbus did open a production facility in Mobile, Alabama. 
I think that was a smart move on their part. At issue three, company culture and building coalitions. As they, um, as Airbus does partner with China, uh, we know that COVID-19 hit China pretty hard. So they do need to make sure that they have those good relationships and have a backup plan. You know, how are they gonna, how is China going to be able to produce goods if they're in a lockdown? They also need to focus on providing their employees with high tech AI um, tools to get the job done, no matter which country you're in. And all, they also need to focus on a country, uh, a culture of diversity and getting those um, great communication across all of the countries that they work in. Um, as we know, China, different cultures have different um, methods for how they do business, how they structure the hierarchy. And so kind of finding out what that, that nice model is gonna be and getting it to work um, is another recommendation. So overall, I think Airbus has set themselves up and has put measures into place, which will enable them to um, make profits as well as um, be able to function successfully. Thank you.